For the last 35, 36 years, it's been a privilege to continue to be associated with this school, first as a graduate student and then as an instructor and a mentor. I've learned much from my time at Carleton. To this day, I still regularly apply the principles of policy analysis, uh, administration and public management that I first encountered some 30 years ago. In my more than 25 years experience working for the federal government, I worked in a number of fields such as policy, uh, operations, program, human resources at the officer and at the executive level. So I was therefore deeply honoured in 2010 to receive the Carleton Alumni Award for distinctive contributions to the public sector. I got a lot out of the program. What I remember most is the usefulness of a couple of the theory courses, uh, Bruce Stern's policy course, Sharon Sutherland's organizational behaviour course, and that's because they taught you to think in frameworks that proved to be a very, very useful skill in the, in the policy world anyway. So my diploma has been really useful in helping me navigate the academic world. I've had uh, huge opportunities to influence policymakers in Canada and elsewhere. I've had um, really exciting opportunities to influence parliamentarians in Pakistan and now I'm, I'm doing some work in the Commonwealth as well. So it's been really an inter interesting ride and the, the pro program has really prepared me well for uh, the policy world. So I'd like to thank everyone at the School of Public Policy and Administration for being so supportive and for uh, teaching me everything I know. First of all, I wanted to send uh, to all friends and former graduates and faculty at Carleton uh, my very best wishes for the 60th anniversary. I was uh, lucky enough to be a student at Carleton in the late 60s and early 1970s, which when Carleton was an exciting place to be and uh, when where the school was beginning to grow uh, in, into really into what it is now. Really the power of a network. Um, I think that SPPA just offers so many networking opportunities. It's become a huge part of the program between co-op and professors and networking events. It's, it's really become a major part and I was extremely thankful for that. I think that even though I took advantage of a lot of those opportunities that the school offered, I didn't really understand the value of them until I left that network. Until I moved away from Ottawa to a city where I knew no one and was looking in a new industry with really zero connections and was starting from scratch. And not gonna lie, it was, it was a challenge. So why did I decide to do a master's program in public administration? Well, I had decided that I wanted to be an executive. So I talked to my mentor and a few other senior executives that, whose opinion I valued quite highly to ask them where they thought the best place would be to go to do a master's degree. Well, doing one at Carleton University ranked quite highly. Uh, very proud alum of Carleton University and look back fondly at my time uh, in this public administration program. Uh, I graduated in the year 2000 with a master's of arts in public administration and there's not a day that goes by at City Hall that I'm not using the skills and abilities that I gained from this program. The City of Ottawa is a $3 billion corporation. Uh, we have a wide range of programs and services that touch residents' lives on a daily basis. Uh, many of these problems are complex and we need to come up with solutions that are going to help move our city forward. And having come to Carleton as a young former reporter, I was eager to go beyond the often superficial understanding we as journalists had about politics, government and the system. My private sector experience also led me to appreciate how little was understood by the business community and in the nonprofit sector about how governments really work. Thus, early on, I determined that I want, what I wanted most from Carleton were the tools, the sensibilities and the experience that would enable me to work with those outside Canadian governments, both here and abroad, helping them to legitimately influence decisions of government. I cannot thank Carleton enough for the well-rounded liberal arts education that I got here in the 70s. It was one of the, the conversations we had in the Low Lounge and in the tunnels. It was such a rich, diverse place to learn and study. And I think when I finally got my act together when I was 45 and was able to switch my career after a very successful time 
in the federal government. I've had the privilege of working with some of the best minds in the country and hopefully we'll all continue to be involved in lifelong learning. Although I studied public administration, I think uh, because of my work experience and my, uh, my personality, I always knew a career in the public service probably wasn't for me. But what I've been able to do is take what I learned here at the school in terms of the policy development process and apply what I learned and uh, it's been a very rich and, and enjoyable experience working at what I like to call the mind face between the private sector and government where many trade associations operate. Back in the early 1990s I was enrolled in the School of Public Administration and I recall a lot of the policy pieces at that time I was able to use throughout my career. As an example, in the recent uh, on a recent appearance before the Standard Creator Aboriginal Affairs, I was able to, to use some of the policy instrument choices and bring that into the discussion. When I look back and think of what, you know, what did I get that valued me the most out of my time at Carleton, without a doubt it's the, the networking and the exposure to decision makers that are here in Ottawa. Uh, when you attend Carleton, you're meeting with uh, deputy ministers, assistant deputy ministers, director generals, and the private sector actors that influence policy and often you're attending a class and you're meeting with people that are right at the heart of very important decisions that you've just been reading about in the newspaper or, or on TV within the past week. So that exposure to the decision makers was very key, but I think secondly uh, associated with that is the networking. And nearly everyone I attended uh, the program with is currently working in a management position in the government at various levels of leadership. And uh, that's a rich network that I can call on a day-to-day -day basis to help me do my job. And many of us are still uh, close friends and we also uh, support each other on a social basis. I believe that the co-op experiences are invaluable. Getting practical experience to me is key. And I think currently with the school having its professional workshop series allows students to further that practical experience. And it's one of the reasons that I've come back and actually deliver an annual submission course to current students. So I feel that my degree gave me the tools and this perspective that I needed uh, to do my job at City Hall and to uh, look at a wide variety of policy areas such as public transit, infrastructure, uh, environment, planning, and it mirrors really the program that uh, allows students and graduates to uh, have a wide uh, view of uh, different policy areas affecting um, our country and our city. And one of the things I valued most about my time here at the school was the relationship building with the faculty members. I really was able to, to build great relationships with my professors and I really felt as though um, the professors really respected the students and, and really cared about what they had to say and were treated as equals. It's take advantage of those opportunities because you don't realize how valuable they are until you're out in the workforce and you're trying to find a position that you're going to be interested in, that you care about, and that you can contribute to. Unlike any other job, we actually can have a hand in changing the country, determining the direction it goes, advising on that, but also I think that we're the only institution that actually is serving elected officials in terms of what is in the public good, what's in the public interest. I have no idea what the future of the public service holds, but I do know that accurate analysis concisely communicated will always be in demand. So all the best to you. Carleton made good on its offer to provide me those tools and skills. For that, I'm very grateful to the school, its professors, and my fellow students. Happy birthday to SPPA, happy 60th, and here's to the next 60.